In the last video, we looked at how to input the invoices in the database. And in this one, we're going to list them out on our browser on the front end of our application. And also in the previous video, we've seen how Django does this from the back end. When I say back end, I mean from uh, the Django default admin portal. Okay. But in this video, we're going to do our own HTML our own views and URLs to be able to list out the data that we saved in the database on our custom template. All right. So this is going to be a very simple video with only four simple steps. All right. Yep. Four simple steps. In fact, it is three instead of four. All right. Now, what are we going to do is um, we're going to create uh, the first step will be to create the template page okay so i'm gonna copy the code right here as we do it okay i'm gonna open sublime and right in sublime i'm gonna create a new template file okay i'm gonna do ctrl n i'm gonna paste the content right here all right so this is the content of this page it's gonna be a html document and in the header we're gonna have the list of invoices as the title of this page all right now when i'm in title this is what will appear right here or what is going to show right here that's going to be the title of this page all right so when we go down you're going to have a uh, title this title is what we're going to have um inside a page like if i come down here this is what i mean by title at this section okay okay now um the data will be run by this this is going to go into the database and then list out the content right here oh the views will do that for us but this is going to pick it from the views and list them out here okay so this is what we want to list out we're going to do a for loop okay and we're going to do a for loop and the for loop will have uh um this right here i'm going to indent this a little bit so that we can see it clearly we're going to have a variable inside the view. That's what I'm going to do next. Oh, in fact, to make it easier to understand, I'm going to leave this as is and I'm going to paste the next step. Then I'm going to explain what we are doing right here. Let's copy this. Paste it in views.py. So I'm going to open views.py. Okay, I'm going to paste it right here. We've already imported this. So now you have to import everything in the models.py file okay or you can individually import the models that you have in models.py like if i open models.py you have the only model that we have that is the invoice model okay so this is what we are importing and the reason why we want to import it is we're going to use it right here so you can't use this variable right here without importing it here okay now to import it, I'm going to do from the models import invoice. It has to be in the correct case. Okay, I can do from the models import invoice. Or what I'm going to do is to import every single model in models.py file. Okay, if you don't want to use the star, then if you have a lot more models here you're gonna import them one after the other okay you're gonna list them all out here like if i do invoice comma and if i have another model here then you have another model abc okay so you're gonna list them all here but if you don't want to do that we can just do a star to import all the models at the same time okay now um we're gonna do this list or this function okay the view is going to have a title and the title will be the list of invoices and then we're going to have a query set that's going to look into the invoice model and then uh, run all the items in that model and then assign to query set okay we're going to have our regular context and then we're going to return the request the html document that we're going to create next and also the context that is whatever is in this variable here now i'm going back to the template file here so this 
query set is what we have right down here okay so now what we are doing is we're gonna write a for loop in here so we're gonna do a for loop for instances in query set so this is gonna be the variable that we're gonna use right down here now for instances in query set that means for every instance in that query set that we have in here so this is a variable but whatever variable we use here is what we're gonna uh, reference here okay so and this also can be any word it doesn't necessarily have to be instances okay or instance so for instance in query set we're gonna create a follow-up and this way it's gonna end so now the query set will go into this um, or the follow-up will go into this query set and then since we're using this as the variable we're gonna say instance dot invoice date that is the columns or the fields inside this model right here so we want to see the uh, the invoice date we want to see the invoice number the name of the invoice and also the invoice type so out of all these fields we're gonna list out only these selected fields now um, we're gonna have a comma okay instance dot date field comma then we're gonna list out the name in the same line and we have the invoice number the invoice type and then the total and then we're gonna do a br we're gonna do a br that means we're gonna move to the next line and then run this again until we get to the last instance and then list them out on the browser okay now i'm gonna save this and then call it um so before saving it we're gonna check the name that we're gonna use right here so the name is list invoice.html so that's what i'm gonna save it as i'm gonna save it as list invoice.html and i'm gonna save it inside a templates folder i'm gonna click save all right so the next step is um to create the url I'm gonna copy step number three and go to urls.py. I'm gonna paste it right here. So it's just the same or a similar URL like what we do or what we did in the last video. Okay, and in this one, we're gonna go to slash list invoice. Okay, and that is gonna run the view called list invoice and we're gonna give it a name list invoice. Like I said, we will see the benefit of this right here, but not at, or not on this video. I'm gonna save this and then go to slash list invoice. I'm gonna do localhost slash list invoice. All right, so you can see we had um, one, two, three, four, five, six items in the database. So this was the title of that page the list invoice title that's what we have right here okay and this title this other title is whatever we have in the model so we are calling this variable all right so this is what we have for that variable and that's what is going to show up right here i hope you differentiate between this and this all right so now i'm gonna i want to organize this a little bit better I'm gonna go down here in the list invoice page so right after this br I'm gonna do some glasses okay I'm gonna save it so this is also part of the for loop so after it prints out all this content or the data here it's also gonna print out this or it's gonna do a br that means it's gonna do a break line all this will be on the same line then we're gonna have a br and then have these dotted lines so let's see how that looks i'm gonna refresh we have to do another br right here you can see the first one was run okay and then it has a dotted line so we're gonna use a, another br right here so this other line will come to the next line instead so i'm gonna do another br right here another break line save it refresh 
okay so we can see how that looks okay next I want to give this a BR I want to separate them from the uh, the data so I'm gonna go down here and do another BR you can do it right on the same line no sorry not this other title I'm gonna give it to this one right here I'm gonna give it a BR save it refresh okay so the header there is separated from that data okay so this moment this is the best um display we can get but in another video i'm going to show you how to do this in a table that's going to look even better i hope you enjoyed this video if this is your first time coming to this channel don't forget to subscribe help us reach to 5000 subscribers if you're having some value from this video don't forget to click on that thumbs up and if you're new or not subscribed yet click on that subscribe button and see you in the next video